And you can't stop the rain Can't stop the rain When it starts to pour Can't stop the rain This is crazy mother they saying that Terrence Bud Crawford been looking weight drained all week and he even looked worse today at the final press conference. Well, we're going to talk about it. Is Terrence Crawford weight drained? Do I think that he's weight drained? Do I think that it's going to make a difference on fight night? Well, we're going to talk about all that. But before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub to the channel. Now, honestly, the reason I made this video is because all week I've been hearing people say that Bud look weight drain, Bud look weight drain. And I didn't really pay no attention to it because I know that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, they never have no problem making weight. I mean, obviously, it ain't easy to make weight, but I've never seen one of them miss weight. So it's really nothing that I paid too close attention to. But I continue to hear Bud look weight drain because we already know all of the BPC, the Bud Protection Committee, every time that Errol Spence has a fight, don't matter who it's against, they coming out saying that, oh, Errol Spence a weight bully. Errol Spence look weight drain. Errol Spence is going to have a hard time making weight. And they being saying that about EJ for this fight, you know what I'm saying, since the first weight conference. Oh, look at him. He fat. He can't make weight. Look at him. He gonna be weight drained. Look at him. He don't sound the same. He don't talk the same. That's the sign of being weight drained. They've been telling you everything in the book, but we ain't never seen Errol Spence get on the scale and not make weight. Even way back when he fought Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter in those fights before training camp started, he was like 190 pounds in both of those camps. Right In those fights, he had a very hard time making weight. He was training in sauna suits. He was doing everything in sauna suits. But now, ever since the Ugas fight, he's got a nutritionist. He's eating meals three, four times a day. He's drinking water. He's doing everything the right way. And of course, it's still not easy to make weight. But he's making weight much easier and much healthier. You can see it in Errol Spence's face. You know what I'm saying? You can just tell by the way that he's talking, his vibe, the energy, everything. You know, it's never going to be easy for a grown man that's 5'10 to make 147 pounds. You know what I'm talking about? Unless you just built like Sebastian Fundora or somebody. But it ain't easy for none of them to make weight. But... All the BPC, the Bud Protection Committee, for some reason, they think that Terrence Crawford walks around on weight all year round. They'll tell you that it's easy for Bud to make weight. Bud don't never have problems making weight. Bud is the ultimate professional. Bud is this and Bud is that. But now, all of a sudden, it don't look like that it's too easy for Bud Crawford to make weight. Now, I've been on record several times, right, in the past, telling people that it ain't easy for Bud to make 147 pounds. It's getting tougher and tougher for Bud to make 147. I've even told people how I talked to some of his family members, his nephew, and his nephew told me that Bud been wanting to move up to 154 also because it's getting harder and harder for him to make weight and it's not easy for him to make weight. We know that Bud like to lift weights. He's put on a lot of muscle mass, so it's not easy for him to make weight. And as you get older, it gets more difficult to make weight. But you can't tell these BPC members, Bud Protection Committee, you can't tell them shit. They just think that Bud Crawford is Superman. You know what I'm talking about? So what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to talk about if he's really weight drained for this fight. And the way that we're going to do it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not Terrence Bud Crawford. I don't really know 100% if he's weight drained or not. But what we can do is we can go back and we can look at some pictures from his previous fights, right? To be specific, his past two fights. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So right here, the first picture that y'all see 
is a side by side of the Sean Porter fight and then the David I've been sneezing fight. You can see Buzz's face, you know, he looked normal. He looked like he always looked in both of these fights. This is the final press conference for the Sean Porter fight right here on the left and the David I've been sneezing fight on the right, as y'all can see. He looked normal, you know what I'm saying? The same amount of days out that we are from today's press conference in the press conference that he did right here, the final press conference, like I said, for the Sean Porter fight, and then the final press conference for the David I've been sneezing fight. And I'm looking at him, you know what I'm talking about? And I was looking at both of these press conferences, and as y'all can see, he looked normal, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, his cheekbones look normal like they always do. Of course, he has high cheekbones, but they not sunken in. He don't look sunken in at all. Ain't nothing different about Bud. Um, and in those press conferences, you know, nothing was wrong. Didn't look like he was struggling, making weight. Didn't look like he was worried about nothing. He was cool. You know what I'm saying? Everything was cool. He wasn't really too irritable. And so it wasn't nothing different from Bud walking around every day you know what i'm talking about of course he make it weight right here of course he's a little more skinnier than he is walking around but you can't tell no huge difference fast forward to today this is today this is after you know the final press conference today him doing some interviews and this is why i noticed it at because like i said i kept hearing people saying he was weight drained and i didn't pay no attention i'm like man they still gonna go in there and they gonna still do what they gotta do and i'm looking at it and i'm like man and i'm like terrence crawford he looked weight drained you know what i'm talking about his cheekbones look like they swollen up his face is looking sunken in to me, you know what I'm talking about? His face looks sunk in, and you can notice he don't look the same that he usually do in his press conferences. You know what I'm talking about? Even though he do look real, real rough right now. You know what I'm saying? This boy looking like Lamar from BMF. You can't stop the rain. You can't stop the rain. And you can't stop the rain. You can't stop the rain. You know what I'm talking about? That boy Bud out here looking like Lamar Stunt Devil from BMF. Yeah, he gonna be like Lamar too when he wearing that shit bag after Saturday night. Hey, man, that boy Bud looking rough. You know what I'm saying? And I know what Bud doing. He trying to psych Errol Spence out. He trying to look as rough as he can, as mean as he can, as tough as he can, in the mirror practicing looking hard. But that ain't going to do nothing come fight night because EJ ain't paying attention to none of that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? He ain't paying attention to none of that stuff. You could tell Bud, man, he hella petty. He going to try to get every advantage he can, every edge he can. That's why, honestly, he wanted to wait for Errol Spence, you know what I'm saying, to be coming off a long-ass layoff. You know, he didn't want Errol Spence to be able to have no tune-up in between, but he wanted to make sure he was going to have a tune-up in between. He wanted to make sure he wasn't coming off no year layoff. And you can just tell how petty he is with the coin toss. What type of man tell you that he made the fight happen? But in the negotiations, he demanded it be a coin flip or it wasn't going to be no fight. You know what I'm talking about? It wasn't going to be no fight if Errol Spence hadn't agreed to a coin flip. And then on top of that, like I said earlier today, they let his partner, right? So somebody that Terrence Crawford has a close relationship with, Mike Tyson, do the coin flip. I mean, what else they gonna let Bud do? Pick the judges? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what else they gonna do? Let him pick the referee, having Steven so called Nelson be the ref? I mean, damn. This dude petty as hell. Ain't none of that gonna matter come fight night. He's still going to get his eyeballs snatched out of his head. And by the looks of these pictures, his eyeballs look like they ready, right? They ripe and ready to get snatched out of his head. You know what I'm talking about? But I don't want no excuses because Terrence Crawford, he finna come in the ring 100%. He's about to rehydrate very, very well. And uh, he going to get his eyeballs snatched out of his head. And I know a lot of y'all, Will, Will, look at Errol Spence, Will, look at Errol Spence. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up of Errol Spence right here so y'all can see. You can see right here clearly that EJ, man, he don't look weight drained. EJ ain't weight drained. I've seen Errol Spence look 
much worse than this. You know what I'm saying? He don't look weight drain. Of course, it's not easy for him to make weight. But <laughs> if y'all banking on EJ to be weight drain, y'all got another thing coming. Because he coming in there, you know what I'm saying, ripped up like he man. You know what I'm talking about? And he coming in there ready to snatch that boy eyeball out his head. It's going to be a great fight. You know what I'm talking about? Um... Both fighters is going to come in there 150% ready. And, man, I can't wait. I can't wait for Errol Spence, you know what I'm saying, to get another man down. He either going to put him in the dirt. Bo Mack going to have to throw in the towel. Or the referee going to have to wave it off because he can't see out of his eyeball. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all think that Terrence Crawford is weight drained? Do y'all think it's going to make a difference in the fight? Let me know. I want to hear y'all comments. And y'all already know what to do. Make sure that you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.